If you're anything like me, you may have stashed on a few pounds during this quarantine. Here I'll share with you a nice little exercise complex that combines shoulder cuff, rotator cuff, or shoulder stability work with your core at the same time. Let's stiffen that upper lip and get right at it. We're going to take a weight, a dumbbell or a kettlebell works, and simply we're going to assume what so many people call a dying bug or dead bug position. I call it three months supine. In this position, make sure you're, you don't have a big arch underneath your back. You wanna flatten that back to the ground or lift your belt buckle up towards your nose. Go ahead and check and make sure it's flat on the ground. First, we'll get our breath in our abdomen and maintain that breath throughout the complex. First, we will start with a simple rotation of the shoulder. So I'm just gonna turn my shoulder inward and then outward as far as I can go with control about 10 repetitions. Once I've got that, I'm gonna add some heel taps. Maintaining core position, back staying flat to the ground, we're gonna tap the heel and return. If you can take care of this pretty easily, you can straighten the leg out all the way, which challenges your stability even more. Once I've got 10 of those, I'm gonna add 10 presses. Simply bring the elbow down and press up and think about your elbow should be about at a 45 degree angle, not way out here, not way in close. You can, but ideally about a 45 degree angle from your torso. And then lastly, the most complex one, what we'll do, since I have the weight on my left arm, I'm gonna take my right elbow, I'm gonna put it out to my side like so, elbow 90 degree position. Next, I'm gonna turn my body over my shoulder while holding this kettlebell. So what it looks like first is this. And I'm gonna bring it back. So what's happening here is I'm keeping my rib cage and pelvis or belt line connected. My left leg is staying about belt level as my right leg starts to come down. I'm rolling over my right shoulder and I'm resisting rolling too far forward with my right shoulder and my right elbow. To return back to position, I'm using my right elbow and I'm facilitating pushing down into the ground to bring myself back into starting position, slow and controlled. As you do this, you want to make sure that your shoulder, elbow, and wrist of the right arm stay connected with the ground as best as possible. This is a hell of a move because not only are we working open chain stability of our left shoulder, we're working closed chain stability of the right shoulder. Think of open and closed chain as the difference between doing a bench press versus a push up. They both are doing a similar movement, but with the bench press, your body is fixed where you're moving your arms or your hands are the, are the moving point. In the opposite manner is the push-up where your hands are fixed to the ground and your body's moving up and down. So ultimately I'm working shoulder stability of both arms just in different manners. And not to mention I'm also considerably working my core at the same time. Now if you want to get fancy and you have the stability, you can also do ah, You can do this with a bottoms up kettlebell, but I recommend you go a little lighter. Ah. 